You're tired of picking up your bike by a swing arm in an awkward space trying to break your back? Be no more. We got this little grab handle and I'll show you guys how you can make this handle that you can lift your bikes up. You never have to pick the bike up by the swing arm again. Now you've got your handy dandy seat strap. What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel once again for another video. Today we're going to go over and cover how you can make one of your own seat handle grab bars. So you're never having to reach down and grab and pick the bike up by the swing arm again. So let's jump right into it. So if you guys are anything like me, I'm more than sure every time you go to move the bike, you're always reaching down, picking it up here, trying to drag it around by the fucking swing arm. And you know what? That's a pain in the ass to do every time. So we're going to make it so you can grab it right from here, grab it by the handle and boop! Pick up the bike and move it around. So we're just gonna go ahead and start by going ahead and popping the seat off and we're gonna figure out a mounting situation of where we're gonna exactly screw the handle to sit in the seat. So we're gonna have to pop your seat off, just like so. There we go, and just like that we've got our seat off. So this plate here, this is what I'm gonna use to drill some holes in uh, and use as the mounting point for my seat grab handle. So, uh, We'll go ahead and get some measurements cut out and we'll start uh, start building this thing. So this here is gonna be what we're gonna use for our strap. Uh, you should have some of this laying around your garage. All you really need is just one of these ratcheting straps uh, and you're just gonna wanna cut a portion of this is gonna be what we use as your strap to pull it by because it's this stuff isn't gonna break, it's nice and strong. And then the idea is we're gonna have this drilled. We're gonna go ahead and drill down into these mounts through this through the plate, then that's gonna come up and over the seat, loop around, and then we'll drill it down the other side and then you'll have a handle, right? If you got this, like so, now you've got a handle. So we're just gonna need to measure out how much of this strap we're gonna need. And then we'll probably drill our hole mark somewhere closer to the back side of this panel. Uh, and then we'll go ahead, cut some holes in this, cut some holes in this, and there's gonna be a special way that we are gonna go ahead and cut those holes so that this doesn't wanna fray apart and just rip into a bunch of little pieces and destroy the first time you go to start yanking on it. So we're just gonna go ahead and sit our seat kinda of just loosely on there. Go ahead and stick one end of this down into the one side of the seat, down and under. I'm gonna stick it down on the plate so we can roughly see how long I need it to be. So that's gonna sit somewhere along there. Come back up, over, like so. And you wanna leave enough room that there's space in between the seat and the ropes, you can actually reach your fingers in there and grab it because if it's too tight against the seat, you're never gonna get your fingers down underneath there when you need to grab it. So we wanna leave enough that kinda sits there, you can just whoop, scoop your fingers in and grab the bike. That's how much we'd need if we were gonna be completely tight. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and leave about something like so. So here we are, we're up on the bench. We've got our strap situated here. So how are we gonna cut this? That's gonna be really important. So what we're gonna do most importantly is you're gonna need a blade that's hot. So when this is hot and it cuts through, you won't leave any frays uh, and this will be all one joint piece here that just won't fray apart when you got it on the bike. So we're gonna go ahead, heat up our blade. I'm not sure if this blade's gonna work, but we'll go ahead and give it a shot. Heat this blade up uh, and we're gonna see if we can cut through this and not have the line fray. So we're just gonna go ahead and heat this up some. Blowtorch would work better uh, if you got a blowtorch. Good enough. Okay, now the blades should be hot. Should be able to come. Cut right through. This would also be easier if you had someone pulling on it to put tension on the line so it cuts through easier. As well as using a sharp blade will probably help. Okay, just go through. We're gonna go ahead and take this and we're gonna go ahead and just singe. Okay, and as you can see, that's nice and it is all one piece. And we'll just go ahead and hit the other end of this so the rest of the strap all stays nice and together, like so. Now we've got our strap. So we'll go ahead and let's get some marks drilled up in the bike. So once again, we'll just pull our seat back off here. So now we got our little tiny drill bit here in the drill and we're gonna go ahead and punch our two pilot holes through here. Okay, don't do that. Don't break your drill bit off. I wonder if I can still punch through. Negative. Okay, let's uh, try that again. All right, take two, we got our drill bit. Got it in the drill. Let's go ahead and try and make a pilot hole.
Wow, I'm fucking killing it tonight. All right, fuck it. We went up to just a fucking bigger drill bit size, so I don't break them. Let's try it again. That worked like a fucking champ. Same thing. Opposite side. Squared up enough. There you go. Now we got our two holes. Numero uno and doso. So go ahead and punch these out to the next size up for the drill bits. Boom, boom. And these holes here, they're only going as big as the bolts that we're gonna be sticking through them. Okay, now we've got our two bolt holes for our handle. So now we got our two bolt holes for our handle. That's there, sweet. We got our two bolts here, so we'll see. That one fits in, that one fits in. Lovely, doesn't get any better. So I've got my little paint pen here. I'm just gonna try and go about roughly, see where the hole is, right there. That's what we're gonna cut. Come over to the other side. So now we got two little paint pen marks of where we're gonna go ahead and drill these two pieces out. All right, so now we're up on the bench again. We got our piece of strap here. So what's important about when we cut this is that the same thing that we did last time, you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna poke a hole through it. What's really important is that we go over it again with that lighter and that you make sure that this hole doesn't have any frays left on it because if it does, this is going to rip and it's gonna tear right out the first time you go to use it. So we're gonna punch a hole through it. Make sure a bolt can fit through the hole that we've cut. There we go, we got a bolt through it. So what's important here is once you got the bolt through is that we gotta make sure that we're going over and lighting all of the frays pieces around this bolt to make sure that we don't have any frays. Because if you do leave some, well, you're gonna rip this and it's gonna break probably pretty quick on you. So I'm just hitting it with the lighter working around, making sure there's no frays. Just like that, we now have a bolt through there. Easy peasy. There's one side of the pull strap. Let's get the second side done. All right, cool. And now we got our strap with two bolts in it. So let's go ahead and stick it on the bike, see how she does. So here we've got our strap, we've got our bolts. Go ahead, stick our bolts down and through. Bolt down and through. Stick our nuts, go on the back side, come through here, just gonna stick the nut on. Tighten that guy down. And if you always want this to be tighter, you can just stick another hole somewhere up in here, punch a hole through it, and then pull this down, and this will make this loop itself tighter. So that's what we're gonna check out here is how we looking for length. Whether this is short, too long, should be a little on the long side because I wanted to leave it that way. But there you go, now you've got your strap. That ain't going nowhere. Hell yeah. So before I go ahead and tighten those anymore, we'll go ahead and our slide our seat in the strap and uh, we'll give her a tug and see how she does. Go ahead, slide this in the middle. Up and over. Bing bada boom. Slide that in the tip. Just like so. And there's your new grab handle. I'll go ahead and plop this sucker down. And just like that, we've got a full strap. Awesome. That's sweet. Perfect length. You scoop your hand right up in there, and you got a strap. Now you can lift the bike up and pull it around. Awesome. That's sweet. <laughs> and there you go. Now you got a strap on your bike. You can lift your bike up right from the seat. Carry it around, move it, easy peasy. No problem, you never have to pick the bike up by the swing arm again. Now you've got your handy dandy seat strap. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, make sure to click the like button, subscribe for more content uh, for your pit bikes, and leave a comment down below with any questions and I'll be sure to answer them and help you out. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, hope you did enjoy, hope you learned how to make your own seat grab handle. Uh, and never have to pick up your bike by the swing arm again and say no to breaking your back. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Till next time, peace.